our topic of discussion is mental toughness mental toughness is a subject close to mental agility it's a pinpointed mental training to make a person fit to face every difficulty in life whether you are in school or college in sports or work in business or at home even in spiritual life mental toughness is a factor that can help in all these conditions we shall try to explore today what does this mental toughness mean psychologists say that if we belong to just the normal intelligent category even then we have the ability to guide the process of thinking and doing things the way we want if we are a little more well balanced we can do better in most of the areas of mental ability but if we are not making the mark as achievers be certain that we are lacking something in our mental ability it is time then to tame our mind and make it a little more sharper these are the general or common features about the mind with me and with you all with every one of us now how do you go about achieving a bit more mind fitness in such studies related to mind more than modern psychology both our indian systems of sankhya and yoga can help us a great deal these systems speak about three points which may be useful to us to develop a better mental ability the first thing to be taken care is our consistency in all our mental efforts second try to get our time concept corrected and regulated and the third be more mindful on your judgments yoga gives a single word mantra to achieve these three in one stroke focus that is the word focus focusing is the one watchword for all the mental toughness the word used in yoga is dhyana that is the word dhyana now don't take the word dhyana to mean spiritual meditation alone though it basically means that but dhyana in yoga as swami vivekananda puts it is controlling of ripples in the mind stuff where to this process of dhyana or controlling the ripples of the mind stuff we are asked to motivate ourselves with a conscious and consistent attitude which is a step earlier to dhyana yoga calls it as dharana dharana can be translated as contemplation or in a more practical sense in modern terminology we can call it concentration which requires certain amount of mental assertion and visualization both these words that is meditation and concentration most people use them like synonyms to imply the focusing of the mind but they mean two different ways of focusing one's ability let us analyze them a little closer the word meditation is associated with an inward journey concentration on the other hand is largely associated with external focusing in meditation what happens is all impediments are dropped including one's own ego but concentration is a realm where ego works with surroundings that is the main difference focusing on life and its situations in order to develop mental toughness is an area of concentration meditation on the other hand is an area far higher used to transcend both the mind and the body the psychophysical clutches of a being 
coming to the development of mental toughness in the first place one needs to envision oneself as strong you remember what swami vivekananda used to say strength is life weakness is death if you imagine you are strong you subconsciously get your body and mind to live up to that image of strength this happens so because both the mind and the body are in the habit of listening to the power of subconscious in the material world this means that you have to start your day supremely confident on your strength at the same time all psychophysical action should be oriented towards good result because the subconscious mind that works beneath plays a vital part in determining the success of your orientation greater the orientation greater the result in the second place perform some sort of a ritual to aid concentration this is carried out in order to clear your mind and reach out a fresh the situation the chanting of sahasranamas or singing of bhajan etc are primarily meant to clear the mental agitations and make it less blemish you would have heard the word chitta shuddhi it means that they are performed before the meditation to get the mind attuned any ritual that helps to put aside all mental agitations are welcome you can observe the sportsman playing cricket or football or even a tennis player tossing the ball like a ritual before heading to play in the third place try to be wakeful to the situation the nature of the mind is to get hooked up anything and everything that is unusual therefore it's important to get back to the situation where we are to be otherwise a kind of hangover of the mind with the unwanted situation can result in distraction of focus so if you are in a classroom it's important to be there both mentally and physically and trying to be wakeful to the situation envisioning one's own strength performing some sort of a ritual and trying to be wakeful to the situation people usually ask what is the need of such mental toughness the simple answer is mind is the important aspect in human that take us onward success to be successful we need to develop four important qualities says the vatmiki ramayana they are smriti dhriti mati and dakshya smriti dhriti mati and dakshya smriti is memory or knowledge dhriti is right resolution mati is proper application and dakshya is skillfulness that is knowledge resolution application and skillfulness so in order to develop success we need to have these four important qualities of knowledge resolution application and skillfulness and mental toughness is required to be behind all these in order to get to that success with mental agility you are one step ahead of others you can observe three important changes in you when you become mentally tough you become more resilient you turn more confident and you are a positive individual there is one more exercise that you need to follow and that is monitor your progress